All right, let's talk about the morph brush, when we'd want to use it and why. Okay, and what I'm referring to is if I click on this, if I go down here to morph, um, what is this? Okay, well, what we need to do and, and, and why would we need to do this? So I feel like, take a look at these scales here. So if I hold down shift and smooth it out, I'm, like let's say if I change my mind on these scales, I run the risk of kind of losing the form underneath, okay? And what I, so let's say if I went, even if I lowered my geometry here, and now if I smooth it out, I'm kind of losing the integrity of the sculpt, okay? So if I kind of like change my mind on the scales, I'm kind of like, again, losing the form, I'm losing all these wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. So if I do this, I'm gonna to go to a different, um, file here just as an example okay so um, you can see that it's saying hey this brush requires a morph target now I had one the other one that's why I didn't give the warning but now that I'm on this di different file I'm gonna be like okay um, and I'll show you what that means um, and I'll just get out of that so it doesn't keep giving us the warning so now on this file here um, I can see it's at 16 million so when I have the form okay, like the wrinkles and kind of the foundation the, of that, this would be a good time to set a morph target. And what I mean by that is if I go to, um, let's see, down here, morph target, here it is. And if I click on that, I'm gonna click on store morph target. And now it's stored. So now if I come in here, and if I go to, if I just do anything, I'm gonna go to maybe just the um, standard, I'm gonna go drag rectangle, and I'll go like something like this. And now if I drag on here, I can see that I'm creating the scales. And now if I erase, if I hold down shift, it's gonna be a normal erase. But if I go to, um, and maybe I'll do it here as well, like on all of these wrinkles down here, if I go to my morph brush, because I have a morph target established, now when I go like this, it erases down to the original. Notice that I'm not getting rid of any of the wrinkles. It's erasing down to the original. Now, take this even more extreme. Let's say if I went using my uh, creature chisel, and if I did something extreme like this, okay, and then I'm like, mm, you know what, that's kind of extreme. I don't think the T-Rex really has that extreme of armor. I could go again to my morph brush. Because I had a morph target, I can go like this. And I can, I could even make my, whoop, hold on. I could even make my brush really big and just morph all that back down, okay? Again, there's no way that I would have been able to do that if just with the regular smooth. So, especially something like this that I feel like when if you sculpt and you've got a point where you have, okay, I've got wrinkles, I've got kind of the bony kind of foundation, I'm going to set a morph target prior to doing any scales or any kind of detail work. So, hopefully that was helpful. If you like that, make sure to um, like and subscribe, leave any comments below, and I'll see you next time.